Hello folks, uh, welcome to our new kitchen, which has got a lot of storage. I mean, I can't even show you all of it from that angle, but look, we've got drawers right here as well. I can't even open that bottom bit there whilst that other bit's open. It's very cool indeed. But we'll come back to that in just a minute. Cool. In fact, we have doubled our cubic capacity for storage here in the kitchen and we've still even got room for the dance floor. See? But as Mrs. Barry would say, You can never have too much storage. Now a lot of you guys seem to ask me, Barry, where did you get this? Where did you get that? Uh, in my videos, like randomly, I've got the same kettle as you, I've got the same kitchen as you. Uh, so hopefully this video kind of answers that. Now first up, that kitchen is the best quality build kitchen I have ever had. It is insanely strong and I absolutely love it. And it's got some pretty fun features in it too. Now the kitchen itself was both built and designed by a company in the UK called Lark and Lark. So not one of the biggest well-known names, but as I say, the quality is insane. And as I'll show you now, hopefully you'll agree they've done an amazing job. But first, let's roll back to the old kitchen. Look at it, that's just one picture. I'm gonna do some before and afters uh, on Facebook and Instagram as well so you can really see the effect of it. Uh, it was bulky and chunky and the fridge wasn't actually even in the kitchen. So that's what I'm kind of forgetting. I've not only doubled my cubic capacity but also we now have the fridge in the kitchen. Random fact for you, the people that owned the house before us actually kept their fridge in the utility room. But that's where I like to wash my socks. In other words, you wanna keep it separate, right? The existing worktop that was here was bulky and chunky and it overrun the existing wall and it sort of stuck out and it was like, yeah. So Lark and Lark's did a design where they've done a custom sized base unit that fits in line with the existing wall, cut the worktop to length so it sort of stays flush and compact and slimline. Kind of like how I should want to feel one day. But I still get just as much storage and we'll show you what's in here in a minute. We basically followed that concept this side too with the existing main structural wall running the worktop whoa, all the way down flush with it, nice compact space and ultimately giving the pugs plenty of room to snooze. I wanna give Lark and Larks a little bit of love because they're not one of the biggest well-known companies, but as I say, the quality was amazing. So if you or if anyone you know are mulling over getting a kitchen, or I've got a price, a design, something like that, they have promised me they'll at least do their best to price match it or ideally beat it. And I think at the moment they have actually got a sale on as well. Now, if some of you live in Fiji, I don't know if they'll be able to help you there, um, but it's worth a shot. When it comes to small appliances, I've always loved uh, my more for Richard stuff, so you'll recognize some of this, although that is a brand new microwave. My other one was on its last legs last week. But they work hard, they're good value, and they look pretty cool. I really wanted the transparent toaster, uh, but you know, Mrs. B wouldn't let me have that there. She says it's got to look nice, all nice and cream, so there we go. I try and keep the brands I use the same. So for example, Morphe Richards uh, for my small stuff and for the larger stuff, I've always been impressed by Smeg. And I thought everyone in the world knew who Smeg was, particularly the fridges. It just turns out though, sometimes when I show it on camera, you guys put Red Dwarf things in the comments, which I don't mind, I love that show, but they are actually a really good brand. I mean, that fridge, we love it. It's been with us everywhere. We just, it's just awesome. But Smeg also do the sink down here. The hob, which you'll recognize, is exactly the same one we had at our old house because we loved it so much. Right, Phoebes? And we loved our Smeg oven so much that we uh, actually ended up getting two of them. There we go. I do feel that we should have a moment's silence for the Adams Family hob that had to go. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Every time. Seriously, that thing was pretty dangerous and on its last legs. And also, have you ever seen a Leaning Tower of Pizza cake? Yeah. I hadn't baked anything on camera yet because that oven was so untrustworthy. So these are gonna be a stonking. All right, so on with the mini tour of uh, the kitchen. Please remember, this is not a kitchen showroom. This is our house. Uh, we do shove a few things in cupboards like most people do, right? That said, when the doors are shut, you guys aren't gonna tell anybody, right? But for this, I do have two helpers with me. Hello! <laughs> this is our spice rack drawer. We put all our spices and herbs in here. Especially paprika. Our daddy loves paprika. These are drawers and they're big. In the, the top drawer we have cutlery, um, knives, forks and things like that. In this drawer my daddy's got lots of um, gadgets. Including this one. That's just a spoon. Out of everything you could have picked up, it was a spoon. It is a gadget. Is it a gadget? All right, okay. In this store, we have tea towels, um, tablecloths, and lunch boxes. And that's the view for the drawers. 
In here we keep salts, peppers and oils, including the pugs, Boston and Amy. You guys know that I'm a massive Back to the Future nut, right? I have my own DeLorean doors in the kitchen. Look! Hey! <laughs> what do we keep in there? A cows and mugs and glasses! Cows? A cow! There is a cow in there, sorry. But what I like about it is you can go whoop, like that and it will close by itself. Doc Brown would love it. <laughs> she can't read it though. It's quite a good, we can put all the naughty stuff up there. Show me that shut up. Wow. In here we put plates and bowls in here and stuff like that. And in here we keep different glass bowls, jugs, little pinch pots and other things like that as well. Because everyone needs a pinch pot if they haven't got a YouTube cooking show. Yes. In here is our dishwasher. So it's all nice and blended in. That's where the boiler goes, so it's all nice and housed and blended in as well, so it's not just a random unit, it all works. And also we put a seal there so that if it opens it won't knock the pans there. Very cool. In here we keep different cleaning things like these little cloths and... Mr. Muscle Spray! <laughs> Wait, what, you say sun cream is a toilet stuff? Oh, is that sun cream? Yeah. Oh. Okay, we'll take that out of there. Now this is our bin and in the back of it there's something called a servo drive which goes into the socket. Now when we pushed it, it would actually open up. Now I did a preview of this on my Instagram story but it needs a little bit of tweaking still until it's ready but you'll see that on a future video. So if we can just do a dr dr dramatic reenactment of that, I'm going to pretend that I pushed it then you're going to pull it out and make a uh, noise, alright? Ready? Okay. Good noise. <laughs> And then the other cool thing is you can touch it and it will close for you. No, just when you close it for me. Thanks. But I will show you that. It just needs a bit of tweaking before we can completely show it off. But I'm sure you'll stick around for that. But just to show you, that is it right at the back. It just literally mm, opens up. And we've got like recycling in here and in different compartments. You just turn it. Yeah. Pull it. And then turn Look it. at that. Wow, and we've got another one underneath as well. Yep. Mm. <laughs> All right, that's really cool. And you can do it a lot quicker as well. Just want to hinge, way in it goes. It's like a ride. It is like a ride, isn't it? It's a bit like the Peter Pan ride in on Disney World. Is it? Yeah, that's my first thought. So it did look like Peter Pan, yeah. So up high, we've got this little, uh, kind of like a car boot kind of thing that stays up with the hydraulic thing there. Pretty cool. Tins up there. Woo! And it soft closes, so if Mrs. Barry can get it open, she just touches it, poof, it can come down without her falling over. All right, down here is more tins and my trusty seal pack. Everyone needs a seal pack. They are so good for baking. Bye. Now in here, we have a bit of everything, really, but only for cooking. We have food coloring, flour, sugar, and honey. And yeah. One thing I wanted to show you with that is uh, a little thing that we do. We've got these plastic tubs that you can buy for like a quid in like most stores. We always fill it with self raising flour, uh, plain flour, sugar, brown sugar, icing sugar, stuff like that. So we know that we never really run out. But even still, I end up buying about eight packs a week. Right? Yeah. It's cooking. And there was Nutella in there as well. You notice how it's up high so the kids can't get it? <laughs> Now in here, instead of a cupboard, it's just, it's drawers. It's, it's drawers. Cereals. But then, look how compact and sturdy they are, because it like keeps yeah. it all organized. And then there's like beans and things like tins. Yep. Yeah. That's the naughty drawer. Yes. Marshmallows and biscuits in there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And have we got another naughty, oh that's and crackers. These are like snacks. Hey, what are you doing? These are all mine. Now this is the thing that really blew me away from Lark and Lark. So they said about, why don't you have a roller shutter in your kitchen? And I was thinking, roller shutter? What? Yes. Effectively, it's a massive corner cupboard that we have filled with shelves and the roller shutter and put all of our big appliances in, like stand mixers and also chopping boards and things like that. And as you see up there, that bit, Yeah. that's the bit where you collect the bits that's 
goes around there. That's it? where the roller shutter goes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So we have shoved loads of stuff in there, but it's actually amazing because you can just do that. Watch out, Chloe. And then we just go uh, away out of peering eyes. No one can see it. Look, it looks so beautiful in there. No one can tell that there's loads of junk behind it, but it's good junk. It looks neat. It does. Yes. Very neat with the coffee machine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I hope this video was as fun for the make as it was for us because we've never really shown you around a kitchen before and loads of you guys have asked for a kitchen tour. So here you go. Now you know what's in the cupboards. And just to say, if anyone wants to know what the kitchen from, it's from these, this company called Lark and Larks. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she remembers the most random things, don't you? Um, but I am going to leave links uh, in my description of my video to uh, Lark and Larks, Morphe Richards and Smeg because I get asked all the time for it. So if you want to check them out, uh, please consider doing so. I hope you'll agree the kitchen is looking stonking. It really makes you want to cook in it and also hide your children in it. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.